34. Whoa, it's a lot. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Time begins to log in. So I got a phone for Twitter workstation so we can start our activity for today. So kindly log in quickly. Quickly, kindly log in so I can remove from Twitter workstation. Road. 
you will see we will be able to apply this to automatically do it in Excel using the percent symbol. Now, this is the only slide you need to write down. So write this down for me in your notebook. What is a cell address or a cell reference? So you have it on the is it on the handout? Yes. Okay, it's located on the handout on near to the bottom. Right above common Excel messages. Do you just all see that? Look at the handout, we all read to the bottom, you will see cell reference. Good, now, in my teaching, you will hear me refer to cell reference or cell address. It's the same thing. It is a combination in Excel of the column letters and the row number. So, it will be an example like A1, B2. Now, common mistake that students make is that they reverse it. They want to see one A or two B. It's not correct. A cell reference will always be the letter first, then the number. Now, this one is where we begin to break down the Excel formula. In Excel, you always have to start with an equal sign. That's step one. The next step is you will use a value for a number. You will have one of the operators that I just saw you show you. Plus, minus, divide, multiply, correct. And then you will do a value. Now, the second one is what we will be using the most. Cell reference. So, if you look at the slide in front of you, and of course, Marwa, tell me what number or what cell is the number 5A. What cell? It is C, B, 2. So, she said, of course, B, 2. So, to do a math formula, we start with what is the first thing we do, class? Equal. Equal. And then the cell reference that number 5 in is B2. If I want to multiply, of course, I use the asterisk. Now, Jasmine. Jasmine tells me the number 2, the top number 2, what cell is it in, Jasmine? It is in C2. Two. So of course, where the column and the row intersects, that's the cell address or the cell reference. So she will put C2. Now, one more example. Alexandra. Alexandra, if I want to say 2 to the third power, what math formula would I begin to do, Alexandra? What do I start with first? Equal sign, right. And then what number, what cell address is the bottom two in? B, 4, and what symbol should I use to raise powers? The correct. And then what, what cell address is number 3? C, 4.
Is that correct, Alexandra? Yeah. Good. Now, do you all agree with this statement, students? Yeah. Right. Because if you want to raise 2 to the third power in Excel, you would put cell reference. Equal sign, cell reference, B4, mat operator, the correct, to raise to power, 3, another cell reference. Tomorrow we're going to be learning how to combine these together. But today we're only going to be writing out basic math formulas. Now, let's do an example how it looks in Excel. So, I have a sample worksheet here of a restaurant bill. So, Zain. Zain, if I wanted to calculate how much the two ceviches cost, what would I put in this cell, E4 side? So I want to calculate how much the two ceviches cost. So first thing, what do I put side? How do I start the math formula? Equal sign. Good. Let's get the help out of the end. Jamon. Jarvis. Now, how would I begin to start my formula, Jarvis? I want to find how much the two ceviches cost. Where is number two in? No. D three. D three. To the power C three. Okay. Will I what what map calculation will I do? The asterisk. Asterisk. Right. So Darwin is saying E equals D three times C three. Two times fifty is. 2 times 25 is 50 dollars. So, you can do it either way. You can either multiply this by this, or you can multiply D3 by C3. But you have to use the same structure. And notice this. Where does it appear? What is this cell called? This is called what? I've given you a name for this. Section. No. no. What's this part of Excel called, students? Cell address. Cell address. No. It's not cell address. What's it called? It's called a formula bar. Remember that. Now we will not be using this. This is called your formula bar. So this is where your formula will appear. Now, if I wanted to copy and you use this when you are doing formatting. If I wanted to copy this down to these cells, what feature should I use? How do I copy this all the way down? What feature do I use, students? Right, you can drag and fill or it's called autofill. So we did this when you are doing the formatting. Good, now. Abner, Abner, help me out here. How would I find the subtotal? What math formula would I use to find the subtotal? Abner? Right, I would use addition. Tell me how the for what formula would I type out here? Equal sign. Right, give me the cell reference. E, E5, E5 plus E4, E4 plus E3 plus E3. And of course, if you notice, if you add 50 plus 9 plus 17, you get 77. Yes. Good. Everybody saw how we got the subtotal? Good. Now, 
This one. Let me show you how this is done. If I wanted to convert this to decimal, in normal math, you would divide by a hundred. In Excel, we will take equal the cell reference and the percent sign. So notice how 12.5 converts to 0 0.125. So it is equal sign, the cell reference person symbol. Right, so if I give you on a practical to do a cell reference for a percent for me, you would divide by a hundred. So of course to find the, the top rate, it will then be that divided by times the amount that would give you now. How would I find the total, including the tax? Salah, how would I find the total here? What would I do? I would add. Okay, add what to add. Tell me what my formula should I put in there? Equal. Equal. E6. E6? E6. Yes. E6. Plus. 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 E7. Good. Now, final example. Let's say I paid with a hundred dollar bill. Jamilet, how would I calculate the change to give to the customer? Equal sign. E9. Subtract E8. And you hit the enter. Good. Students, we have seen some examples of how, how to do math calculation. We all have a basic understanding of how to do math formulas in Excel. Good. So, we will now be doing a deep fair share activity. For the first five minutes, you will look at some at some at a worksheet and you will write in your notebook the first two problems and then I will pair you and you will then work together in pair. So kindly go to the desktop. So kindly go to the desktop Information Technology Form 3 Excel. You will see a formula worksheet. So desktop, Information Technology, Excel, Formula Worksheet. Good. For the first five minutes, listen student, for the first five minutes you will work alone to do number one and two. Alone. And then I will pair you so you can discuss with your partner. So for the first five minutes, work on number one and two. Alright, so in your notebook, write the math formulas for these data um, worksheets and all. Number one and two. And then I will walk around and pair you. So at the end of five minutes, you can then move together in your pair.
you can go to open and write in your formula and if you write it in your notebook. Um, 
discuss it to see which one is the best solution. And then you do number three and four together. Thank you. 
The total amount that the student earned, in this case, Angie earned L6 divided by K6. Right. Now, tomorrow we begin to learn how to combine these math operators together. Today we are just doing one basic line. So, let's wrap up today's class with a short quiz. Kindly go to quizzes.com. So, kindly go to quizzes.com. Q U I Z I Z Z.com. So, everybody, kindly go to quizzes.com. And I will give you a quote to get into the quiz. So quizzes.com. Anxiety here. Anxiety. Okay. The code is zero three one six nine three. Zero three one. 693. That's the code for quizzes.com. And of course, please put in your name. And I will start the quiz shortly. Put in your full name. So quizzes.com. Everybody is out there? And of course, the code is 0331693. What? <laughs> so of course I already see participants joining. Let's start. So finally answer these four questions to the best of your knowledge. Got a display, the leader board up here on display. So you can see of course our leaders for today. we have learned today and what we set out to do we have accomplished we have wrote math formulas we can identify some of the math symbols that we use in Excel that we you will be using practically okay I see most of you complete with that quiz Okay, that's our class, students. Once you are complete with the quiz, you can begin to log out, push your chairs under the desk, and you can move back to your class. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Attention, family students, please come to the office. Adamari, Alvarado, Eric, Duarte, and Kenzie Park. Please come to the office.